Good day everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel for more module videos regarding the criminologist licensure examination. Just click the subscribe button and enjoy. Good day everyone. I am Godison Borja Dolfo, your resource person for this module entitled Hurdling the Criminologist Licensure Examination. During my college years, I was a board operation volunteer and an honor society officer of one of the prominent schools of criminology in the country. Through these experiences, I started in the academy in 2005. With all humility, I already have 16 years experience in the academy teaching criminology courses and nearly 18 years of exposure in the criminology board review. Currently, I am engaging in book authoring aside from being the Dean of Criminology School and National Lecturer for Criminology Review in the different colleges, universities, and review centers in the country. With these experiences, I wrote the module to share my experiences, insights, answering procedures and techniques that I believe useful for all examinees to hurdle the criminologist licensure examination. Before I start, I would like to inform everyone that my book entitled The Art and Science of Hurling the Criminologist Licensure Examination is so soon available and out in the market. Thank you. The first module includes the topics on what is the licensure examination all about, the coverage of the criminologist licensure examination, and the importance of knowing the table of specifications for the criminologist licensure exam. Licensure examination is a test conducted by the duly constituted government authorities for the primary purpose of regulating a specific profession or occupation. Through this examination, the competency of the applicant will be properly assessed. On the coverage of the criminologist licensure examination, by virtue of Republic Act No. 11131, entitled An Act Regulating the Practice of Criminology Profession in the Philippines and Appropriating Funds, therefore, this enactment repealed the Republic Act No. 6506, also known as an Act Creating the Board of Examiners for Criminologists in the Philippines. Under the new law, the following are the subjects clustered into six areas. First is the criminal jurisprudence and procedure with relative weight of 20%. The following subjects are included. Criminal Law Book 1, Criminal Law Book 2, Criminal Procedure, Criminal Evidence, Court Testimony, and Related Special Penal Laws. The second area of examination is the Law Enforcement Administration with 20% relative weight. The following subjects are included Police Organization and Administration with Planning, Police Patrol Operations, Police Communication System, Police Intelligence, Police Personal and Records Management, Comparative Police System, and Industrial Security Management. The third area is the Criminalistics with relative weight of 20%. The following subjects include Forensic Photography, Personal Identification Techniques, Forensic Ballistics, Question Document Examinations, light detection techniques and forensic medicine. The fifth or the fourth area is the crime detection and investigation with the relative weights of 15%. Uh, the following subjects are included fundamentals of criminal investigation, special crime investigation, drug education and vice control, organized crime investigation, fire technology and arson investigation, and traffic management and accident investigation. The fifth cluster or area is the criminal sociology 
with the relative weight of 15%. The following subjects are included Introduction to Criminology and Psychology of Crimes, Philippine Criminal Justice System, Juvenile Delinquency in Crime Prevention, Human Behavior and Crisis Management, Police Ethics and Values, and Criminological Research. The last area, or the sixth area, is the Correctional Administration with a relative weight of 10%. There are only two subjects included, the Institutional Corrections and the Non-Institutional Corrections. This slide is all about the importance of knowing the table of specification for the criminology slash examination. According to the SAGE Encyclopedia of Educational Research, Measurement and Evaluation, TOS is a tool used to measure that a test or assessment measures the content and thinking skills that the test intends to measure. The main purpose of TOS is to ensure that the items included in the examination are aligned with the subjects and the clusters of the CLE or the Criminology Slayer Exam. Through the TOS, examinees will be guided on the possible number of items from each clustered subjects. The examinee will also be informed about the level of difficulties of each items vis-a-vis -vis to the content and skills that the examination expects to assess through the relative weights of each subject cluster. An example of copy of TOS released in the year 2010 for criminology slayer examination is attached in my book entitled The Art and Science and Science of Hurdling the Criminology Slayer Examination. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you learn a lot. Always remember knowledge is power.